So we have some more Mobile Legends news. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and let's get into it. So, after the update, Kagura will pause for a little bit before she can move again after teleporting with the second skill. So that's the that's what was told to the developers. Now their response to this was this change was made because the second skill of Kagura was very easy to be cast by mistake according to many players. So we added a 0.5 second common cooldown for the skill to prevent um, to prevent from teleporting by mistake. Also, we increased the damage of this skill to balance the change. However, according to recent feedback, this change has an impact on the control of the skilled players. For that, we will reevaluate the skill and do some more adjustment. So another, some type of adjustment is coming to Kagura. I've actually never played Kagura, so I really don't have an opinion on this. But what do you all think? Any Kagura players out there? Let me know in the comment section down below. How did this affect you? What did this change feel like for you? And what do you think they should do to fix this? They said they're going to reevaluate it and make some changes. But if you all um, come up with a solution yourselves and you actually write that in the comment section and everybody thumbs up the comment that makes the most sense that you want them to change, we can actually see what the most people say. And I can actually show the developers like, look, this is what um this these all these gurus players said that this would work if you all did this so please take this into consideration so yeah that's something that you can definitely do like you all have a lot of control more way more control than you all know all you have to do is just um thumbs up comments and stuff and actually leave comments that make sense for the changes that you want and we can show it to the developers so yeah that's always an option moving on to the next piece of information though they said natalia's um natalia's silence effect got weakened it's just the visual effect of the skill that was changed. In fact, the silence effect is still the same. We will optimize it as soon as possible. So it was the visuals that was changed on that. Um, a lot of people thought that it was weaker, but no, it was just the visuals. But um, moving on to the next one, uh, the question asked was a prompt message does not exist will pop up when I use coupons to buy items with battle points. And their answer was it's because coupons only can be used when buying with diamonds, not battle points. We will optimize the prompt in patch 1.1.92. That's also when they're supposed to be updating the um this new sin skin feature um that they've actually nerfed <laughs> a bit here. So um yeah moving on to the next one they said why does Gorge show as a spear of light in the battle? Um their answer was because and this actually happens because um a lot of people because a lot of people start playing the game before they have actually fully downloaded the update so that happens sometimes but there was a bug where people were actually doing that when the game was fully downloaded so that's been fixed as well the bug the bug has been fixed for now it might mess up again in the future who knows they're still fixing stuff and changing stuff so yeah that happened as well moving on to the next one here they said when i try to send scans to a new friend the system will give me a notice saying that you are not game friends yet please add the friend first before sending gifts and after restarting the game the system will say the time of we being friends is shorter than seven days and um their answer was it was because of a little delay on the friends list sync function which has been optimized now so yeah i'm assuming all of these changes thus far is coming in the next update the same update with roger the same update with the new servers and all of that so yeah i'm pretty sure all this is coming um with that now we have two more here so the the, the second to last question was when i watched live streams the health points bars of both teams are blue we have located the resource of this bug and will fix it in a future patch um so that's the response to that the last question is um suggestion optimize the system notice for pre-team so players can know who declined the game and they said hey we will optimize it and inform you your teammates status okay so um that, that's pretty much all we have here i'm pretty sure the majority of these updates are going to be coming in patch 1.1.9 oh the one that's going to be coming with roger so yeah be on the lookout for that and also the service should be updated by then because that's the patch notes that they're in so they should be optimized and released by then also if you are um in the philippines right now or in one of those countries that's really laggy how has the lag been for you i know you all were struggling because they've been updating the service and, and all that they've been trying to get them installed and everything but how, how's it feeling right now for you all? Is it still struggling? Are you all still struggling? Is it still feeling really bad? Um, it's the weekend, so I'd probably assume that they probably have people working um, on the servers and stuff probably during the weekend for that reason. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you all think. Um, let me know how it's feeling for you all. And what do you all think of all this news we've covered in this video? I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Drop that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out. If that's what you think, and talk about